Hello, my friends. I'm Daniel Talley, the Note Self Guy, and welcome to the channel. This episode right here is my truth. Now, I'm a Christian, but one day I had an encounter with an atheist that would question my faith. This old dude threw everything at me, including the kitchen sink. Here's how I went down. Hey, mister, what are you doing? Oh, just reading the Bible. Oh, my father, what a complete waste of time. There is no God. I take it that you're an atheist? Indeed, I am, sonny. I've been a card-carrying atheist since the 1960s. That was even before you were a lustful thought in your daddy's mind. I don't care that you're a Christian, sir. I used to be a Christian myself until Christianity ruined my life. God has too many rules. Don't do this. Don't do that. The Ten Commandments are handcuffs. Christianity is a bunch of hogwash. Jesus loves you, sir. The Bible says... Wait a minute! Wait a minute! The Christ told Moses, man! No, wait. Christ didn't tell Moses anything. Why? Because he doesn't exist! I got one question for you, young fella. What if there's no God? Christian, you have just wasted your life. Listen, before you respond, I don't want to hear any of that Bible, scriptural mumbo-jumbo jazz. You got it? You answer the question without the use of your sword, the Bible. Hmm, what if there's no God? As a Christian, would you have wasted your time? Sir, let's just assume that you're correct and there is no God. Truthfully, I have lived a good life as I have followed Jesus for the past 30 years. And having Christ in my life is kind of like having a security blanket continuously wrapped around you. The Holy Spirit dwells within me and has guided me through this thing called life. If I'm being honest, life is hard. You know, we all got problems, but you know that God is protecting you, guiding you, loving you. It's the stuff made of legend. To feel the Holy Spirit on your body is to know that God is real. And the answering of prayers and miracles, well, that's confirmation for me. I don't know how people make it without God. Without God, there's no hope. So, no, I don't think I've wasted my life. Hmm, interesting. If I died and there's no God, I have only one regret. And what is that, doctor? Your mission is to help to spread the good news by helping this channel to grow. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell in five, four, three, two, one. Mission accomplished. Congratulations, you've done your good deed for today. Thanks for subscribing. My only regret would be that I did not fulfill the lustful desires that I have. Come on, man. You mean to tell me you left all that free booty on the table? And they call us dogs. Lust is not a desire, doctor. It's called being a man. Not only is this guy a Christian, but he's a little slow. What a combination. Good night, Irene. There's a smoking spoiled of tail out there to be had. If I was just 30 years younger, son, you're missing out. You know, I've thought about it. What exactly am I missing? Am I missing a nice case of herpes? Or maybe I'm missing just a tiny bit of syphilis. You know, gonorrhea is still around. Or perhaps I'm missing the gift that keeps on giving HIV AIDS. Oh my father, those things will kill you faster than a dead man. What? Well, anyways, acting on my lustful desires would have led to a series of meaningless relationships, among other things. Other than the lust issue, I wouldn't change a thing. Being a Christian is a reward in and of itself. But let me ask you a question, sir. Go ahead! I ain't got all day! What if you're wrong about God? What if you die and there is a God? I would have lost nothing. You would have lost everything. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. 